what is going on guys it's me Calvin from LFC Pro Fans back again with another video for you all so Liverpool will be playing AC Milan next in the Champions Cup and it will be live on Sky Sports 1 at half past 3 in the morning Sunday morning now I don't know if this is 100% true but from a source on Twitter it said that Wijnaldum and Sturridge will be both starting in that game against AC Milan Hasn't been confirmed yet who else is going to start, but those are the two that are definitely going to start. I've heard Wijnaldum and Daniel Sturridge, so it's going to be awesome seeing Wijnaldum in action tonight against AC Milan, who we beat in the Champions League final in 2005 when Gerrard lifted that fifth Champions League uh, cup above his head. So yes, Wijnaldum will be making his debut tonight for Liverpool in the Champions Cup against AC Milan. And Daniel Sturridge has come up from England after having a short little break after England's well, disappointing exit to uh, in the Euros. I don't want to remind anybody, I don't want to remind myself about it. It's gone now as possible. He will be coming up with the Reds and training and playing tonight's game starting. So that's great news. Looks like Mignolet will be, you know, in between the sticks, you know, the goalpost sticks, you know what I mean, uh, for tonight's game. We'll see how he does. No carriers, obviously, as I said in the last video, that injury he's got. Um, wish the speed of recovery. Two months, over two months. I, I don't even want to think about that, seriously. Over two months, really. But, or anything like that. But I'm absolutely gutted. Uh, such a class player he's been for us so far in pre season. And just picking up a really big, serious injury like that. And it's. <sighs> I don't know. Other news, uh, we have got the Hector deal has been revived according to the Liverpool Echo today. Uh, the uh, German international from the German team Cologne, Cologne, I don't know how you say uh, the name, uh, I don't want to ruin the name or anything like that, uh, forgive me, but I mean, uh, that's how you pronounce the name, it has been revived. That's source, that's like from um, local Echo. Don't ask me, do not ask me what this is all about. According to one newspaper article, I just think completely, uh, you know, BS about this. But, I mean, uh, it's Benteke being linked to Hull on loan. Hull wants, nearly promoted Premier League team, Hull want Benteke on loan. Even if it's true, no. Why, why would we want to get we want to get rid of him all together? We want the money, we want the 30-odd million we bloody paid for him, you know what I mean? <laughs> We want the money, you know what I mean? We don't want to send him out alone. We want to get rid of him for good. We want to get rid of Bogdan for good. We got rid of him on loan. I don't know how that happened, but I mean, uh, no. I don't know what happened to the West Ham Crystal Palace deals. Probably they pulled out. I don't know. Hope they haven't, but I don't know what's happened because it was about two weeks ago and stuff like that, a few weeks ago when all that was happening stuff. But mm. uh, Obviously, you guys will know this, that Sacco had been sent home. He didn't play in the Chelsea game because he was sent home before that due to some trouble that happened between him and Klopp, him in, uh, you know, interrupting his interviews with uh, Klopp's interview with reports and stuff. It was at Alcatraz. And, uh, but I've, I've, you know, he's been, you know, really good, good there, you know, showing that you, you don't disrespect or, you know, mess with Klopp. <laughs> and so he's got rid of Sacco, he's sent him back to England. Uh, I know something about it was late, it was arrived late to America on the plane while the others arrived early you know the other players and stuff so I don't know what's happened there but um, but I'm looking forward to next season next season uh, starting game against Arsenal it's going to be tough now it's always going to be tough even if you have carries in goal for a game but it's going to be look like this Mignolet in my opinion <clears throat> and then the back four um, <clears throat> Klein and I want to see uh, Joel Matip um, then probably Lovren instead of Clavin so we're going to have Lovren and Matip next to each other then the other full back if we haven't got anybody if this Hector deal doesn't go through if we don't get him or something like that uh, we're going to be stuck with Moreno so it's going to be Moreno so then we're going to go for the back two if we're going to go for a 4-2-3-1 so two centre defensive midfielders I'm going to go for Henderson Emre Chan in that midfield and then we're going to have in the, the front three, uh, just behind the striker, we're going to have Coutinho, Firmino and Sadio Mane. What speed that is going to be, that is going to be some speed there, you know what I mean? 
And then we're going to have up front, we're going to have Daniel Sturridge. Obviously, I'd like to see the young lad, Marco Grusic, have a chance against Arsenal. Hope he gets a chance tonight. Is he going to play tonight? I don't know. AC Milan, I don't think he's got an injury. Uh, play tonight um, against AC Milan. I'm looking forward, you know, I'm looking forward to news premises. I know there's caveat deals, just, uh, caveat injuries come out of just out of the blue like that and just just about less than two weeks, two weeks before the new season starts, you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm still looking forward to the new season and hope you guys are as well. Um, you know, even if we got a draw at the Emirates, I'd, I'd be happy. I'd be happy with a draw. I'd be happy with, you know, because it's tough. The Emirates is tough, we know that. And I wouldn't mind a draw. If we got a win with Mignolet and bloody goal, I'll be over the moon. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, you know, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a short little video. Thanks for watching, obviously, proud fans. Thanks to any new subscribers who just subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe and, you know, help reach about 50 subscribers for the new season. That'd be awesome. Anyway, guys, see you later. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.